Uh, these drills, code reds, active shooters, they've been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. When I was in fifth grade, I had to hide in a closet, in a, in a bathroom for three, for three hours and just waiting with my teacher and nearly 20 other kids to see that just because a shooter has come to our town, not even in the school itself, now seven years later, I'm in a closet with 19 other kids waiting fearing for my own life. Now I'd like to ask you that after me and several others have been going out of their way, going to the state capitol, speaking out, we'd, we'd like to know why do we have to be the ones to do this? Why do we have to speak out to the capitol? Why do we have to march on Washington just to save innocent lives? You're, you're absolutely right. And let me start by saying, and it goes without saying, that what you've lived through and what you live through is not supposed to be a part of your high school experience. It's just not supposed to happen. The second thing I would say is that it is unfortunate that in this country we have been able to make progress on any major issue for a lot of different reasons, and this being one of them. But you, have, do, you do have a chance to change it. I really believe it. But to change it, we are going to have to figure out how people that have strong feelings on both sides can agree on things. And I think you are making progress. I can tell you what's already happening as a result of your advocacy. For example, I've already announced, and I hope they will pass it, I really think they will, and they should, it's a concept called a gun violence restraining order that allows authorities, and it has to be someone in your immediate family, it has to be a, a, somebody you live with, it has to be your parent, it has to be an administrator, can go to authorities and allow someone to not just be prevented from purchasing any firearm, okay, not just the rifle, any firearm, and allow those to be taken from them, and that person will have due process. Because I believe that if that were in place in Florida, and it, I, about three states already have it, it could have prevented this from happening. And I support that, and I hope they will pass that. And I think that is a result of now, your advocacy. Uh, if, if I may, I, I do appreciate your words there, but that feels like the first step of a 5K it run. It certainly is. I would say it's more than a 5K run. This issue, this issue will take more than a 5K run because there's so much to do, but that is an important step. And if that happens in the next three weeks, it'll be because of what you guys have done. And it won't end there.